I am hopefully going to show you a very quick an easy way to blow dry your hair and I'm mainly talking hair extensions here. These are individual micro ring extensions from Hair Rehab London. I think you can see. So there's one, for example. Um, so I've got about 130 in my head and these will last for a few months. You do have to be a little bit more careful than if you're gonna use clipping extensions. So as you can see, my hair is freshly washed. My own hair tends to dry really quickly. Um, the extensions do take a little bit longer. So in an ideal world, if you can have a, your shower, wash your hair, whatever, and then leave it as long as possible before you blow dry your hair, that will cause less damage. So I've got a couple of products that I'm gonna use. The first one is a Bumble and Bumble BB Thickening Hairspray. And this is for my own hair. Because my own hair is quite fine, I need something to kind of give it a little bit of like grit almost otherwise it just goes so flat then you need a heat you need a heat protecting spray and this one is bamboo smooth and it's a thermal protectant spray you can do it on your own ends of your own hair and mainly the extensions I like to be quite generous with heat protected spray especially on the extensions I'm also going to show you the shampoo and conditioner I use, hold on. With bonded extensions you want to avoid anything with sulphate in it, so look for sulphate free shampoos. And this one is Kerastase, and this one is Boron. Right, it's for unruly, over processed hair. And then I use this Redkin Diamond Oil Deep Facets, why do they have these random names, um, conditioner. So I'll leave that in for about at least three minutes. Right, so you put your thickening spray in, you can use a mousse, whatever, your, for your normal hair, what you use. Then, with extensions, I would always recommend brushing from the bottom upwards. Just get rid of any tangles. This brush is actually really old. I got it from when I was in Marbella. I don't know what the brand is, I'm sorry, but it's basic paddle brush. Right, using your hair dryer. My hair dryer is from Bosch. I'm gonna rough dry as much as possible. Don't hold the heat too close to the bonds because even though these aren't glued in, there is glue that holds all the hairs together at the tip of the bond. I hope this is making sense. So you don't wanna loosen that because then you're gonna get some shedding. So do your roots here, your own roots, until it's not 100% dry. I'd say till it's about 90, 80, 90% dry. Another little tip is to dry it while your head's upside down. That tends to give a lot more volume, especially up in this area. Okay, the hair is not 100% dry, but it is a lot drier. Obviously the extensions probably feel a lot more damp than your own hair. Now the quickest way I've found to do this is to just get your own hair out of the way and up in Velcro rollers. So starting with your first roller, you're gonna take your front section. And don't make it too big. So I hope you can see the size. And then wrap that up in your first roller. I'll just use a little curvy grip, kind of grab the edge of the roller and then your own hair attach the root and it should stay in place. And then repeat that going backwards down the head. I've got, how many rollers have I got here? Probably like three or four. Now onto the extensions. You're gonna need a dividing clip couple is very handy and your paddle brush and go and find it this is what I was looking for a round bristle brush I find it easier to start at the bottom and work your way up and try not to make your sections too big because you've got to find that it just takes way longer to dry them in the long run so if you take a section from underneath one ear to the other you're left with your bottom section and then just for now 
put this out of the way. So put that out. Then separate that into two. So you've got half each side. Now I start using the bristle brush to try and dry it and then I smooth it out with the round brush. Try not to keep the heat on the hair for too long. So don't, you're not holding the hair here really close to the hair dryer. You're just keeping it moving all the time. That's gonna cause the least amount of heat damage. So you're kind of just taking the brush through, and following it with the brush. You may find the root area takes a little bit more time to fully dry. That's, I think it's just because of the bond up there, maybe stores some more water, but just make sure it is dry from one into the other. Then you're gonna go in with this one, and it's gonna be a similar motion, but as you're pulling it down, you kind of pull, twist the brush, pull, twist the brush, pull, twist the brush, so hopefully, all the ends are inside. It is a little bit fiddly because sometimes the hair does fall out, but just keep trying it and practicing it and you will get it eventually. Once you've got the hair in, pull it up to about halfway and then just heat, again, not too close. Just apply some heat and then let it cool for, I don't know, like 10 seconds. So we're gonna let it cool. This will help it set and make it last for those extra few days. Then pull it out, kind of twist as you're pulling. And there you have the first section dry. So leave that for now and do exactly the same on this side. You have your first section done. So you want to almost just kind of put that to the back for now. Then release the rest of the hair you've got. And try not to get the hair you just done mixed up with the wet hair, obviously. So I find it's easier to pull it into two halves. And again, separate into sections. So you go splitting it in half width ways. You've got your dry section at the back and then your two damp sections either side. We'll start with this side. This is way too big to do all in one go. So I would suggest probably doing that in four sec three or four sections. Like I said, the smaller the section, the quicker it's going to be to dry. So I'm going to do it into four. So this is where your other grip will come in handy. So while you're working on that little section, just grip that bit out of the way. Let's go back in with the paddle brush and do exactly the same process. your middle section done. Now the top section. By now you probably work a little bit of a sweat. <laughs> Again, pull the remaining hair, remaining, remaining even, hair forward. So you've got two sections. And you're pretty much gonna do the same, but instead of going under this front section, if I do it first and I can show you. Just take your section. Again, just Grip this out the way for now. Do the same thing with the paddle brush until it's almost dry. Then with the bristle round brush, instead of going under, I like to do this front section outwards. I just think it sits nicer when it's all blow dried, especially because this roller um, is in a similar, it's going outwards. So it'd be good to do the front like that and then the rest is all kind of coming down. So go outwards this time. So it sits like that. 
And then the other bits you'll do as normal, kind of curl under. Almost done. This is last section to do. So your hair should now be dry. Now all you need to do is blast the rollers just a little bit just to make sure they're dry and set and then you can take it out. Let them cool for like, I don't know, a minute and then you're ready to take them out. So you've back combed. Now you just almost need to like this. I have done this in another video. You just do this with the hairs. and pull out widthways. And I tend to just get the comb and gently kind of go over. And then the same again with this one. If you feel like you want it even higher, use the tail end of the comb. And you just, just like push it up. The last two. Take them out at the same time and pull them forward. And then I like to wear mine in a middle parting, so I'm just going to create that with my finger. Then in the same way you back comb the root of that back section, I'm just going to do this, not as much, but a little bit. And then it's just a case of playing around with the root area till you're happy. You can always take your comb with a cheap volume. If you take sections, so I've got quite a large section, and you just back comb in underneath here quite gently. And that will give the illusion of even wider hair. Careful not to back home too uh, like aggressively because then you'll just end up in a big mess basically. Right, so once you're happy, I would use a little bit of serum. I've got this Weller Enrich Hair Ends Elixir. It's just a couple of pumps. And just take that through the ends. And there you have your big and bouncy DIY blow dry. Bye.